Hello everyone, my name is Deep Chiring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire IM Editor family, I would like to welcome you to the short video tutorials. In this video, we are going to integrate our Cisco ACS within GNS3 environment and we are going to set up a lab with four devices, a switch that connects with these three devices, a Windows client, XP, a router and ACS server. Let's begin. Just click on GNS3. It will take a little bit of time, so just bear with me. I'm going to skip until it opens up. Our GNS3 is getting started. That means uh, we have actually uh, integrated this GNS iOS within VMware Workstation. If you want to integrate GNS3 within VMware Workstation, uh, we have got a video related to that one. So you can go through my previous videos. Over there, I have showed you how to integrate uh, GNS3 within VMware Workstation, right? So I'm going to skip it right now. Just minimize it. There, it shows you the project name. So first of all, before even starting up the project, just name the project. So I'm going to uh, name my project as AAA-ACS-1, all right? So it's triple A ACS dash one. Okay. Now I'm going to integrate my ACS within this um, GNS environment. So for that, just click on edit over there. Just click on preference. And now um, come down to VMware VMs. There, just click on new over there run this VM so click on next from the drop-down list select ACS ACS1 that we have did uh, the initial configuration on the system right so just click on it click on finish there it's uh, integrated within GNS3 so click on apply then again go to edit then enable ACPI shutdown Click on network, allow GNS3 to overwrite. Before, when we were doing our initial configuration for VMware setup, at that time I told you that uh, to choose the VMNet1, right? For that, uh, host only adapter. That, that means it works within a virtual environment. That's why we choose to select um, the host only adapter. So, over here, just allow GNS3 to select the VMware adapter on its own just click on OK just click on apply and then OK now what we're going to do is uh, let's see whether it has been installed or not I'm going to select a router so this would be my triple A client and uh, I'm going to select one switch OK over here this is my switch I'm going to select a host that means a client I'm going to use client XP so I'm going to use an XP machine all right and then I'm going to choose my ACS ACS one that we just integrated it right so I'm going to pull this off right here and now we're going to set this up small environment so this is switch one okay and then just connect these devices with one another so click on the cable media so click on Ethernet and Ethernet okay click on Ethernet 1 with the router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 click on Ethernet 2 with ACS all right it's done now what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the port labels so interfaces so that we can just verify whether what interfaces are we are connected to and then it's done what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign so I'm going to just label up the IP address that I'm going to assign with these um, clients and servers so I'm going to assign IP address 192.168.1.2 with this client so slash 24 would be my subnet mask 
I'm going to assign IP address 192.168.1.1 to this router and uh, I'm going to assign IP address. Uh, we have already assigned uh, 192.168.1.100 to our ACS server, right? So um, this is the labeling for the um, triple E lab. And this is our triple A client. Okay, this is our triple A client. And this is our triple A server where TACX has been installed. We're going to use TACX protocol. Okay, so this is our TACX server. So fine, now this has been set up. So let's verify whether these PCs are going to communicate with one another or not. So I'm going to turn on the lab. So just click on play. It's going to turn on, here you can see the red marks. Now it's going to be green. That means all the systems are going to be turned on. See, router one is turned on. Our ACS is getting turned on and here our PC XP machine is also going to turn on. So this is my XP machine over here. This is my ACS getting restarted. And um, uh, okay, this is my XP. Okay, it's totally fine. Just bring it down. So this is my XP system. It's this one. My AC server, it's getting started on the right hand side. Okay, it's on the top side. And my router, where is it? Just right click on it and go to console. It opens up the console. So first of all, I'm gonna assign IP address to this router. So show IP interface brief. There you can see no IP address has been assigned to fast ethernet zero slash zero. So we're gonna assign IP address to this interface. And our IP address is 1.1, so configure terminal interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0, IP address would be 192.168.1.1 slash 24, okay, no shutdown, and that's all, and let's save the configuration, okay, show IP interface brief, this is my IP address, and it's assigned to fast ethernet 0 slash 0, all right. Uh, let's go to the client and let's verify whether it, it has been assigned with the IP errors 191.68.1.2 or not. So bring it up and okay, let's verify whether it has been assigned with the IP errors. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up command prompt and uh, let's verify IP config. Okay, it has already been, already been assigned with 192.168.1.2. It's slash 24 and my default gateway is 1.1. That means our router one, right? If you don't know how to assign an IP address to PC, yeah, you can do that, right? Just click on this computer icon. Over there, you can go to properties. Over there, you can go, uh, just click on TCP IP. There you can see the IP address, the subnet pass and the default gateway IP address. All right, it has been done. All right, let's uh, go to the ACS over there. There you can see the login and our login is admin and username is admin and our password is capital P A 44 W 0 It's logged in. I'm going to just skip this one. Remind me later. Let's see. Uh, it's show interface and there you can see the IP address has been assigned to this ACS as 192.168.1.100, right? So ping with the ACS to the router. So ping 192.168.1.1. Okay, it's like ping IP 192.168.1.1. Okay, successfully pinging with the router. Now ping with the client, ping 192.168.1.2, okay. Ping IP 192.168.1.2. I apologize for that. Okay. Here it's ping again. Okay. 
com communication between your ACS and between your XP client and the router is reachable. So what we are going to do is let's test with the XP and router. So ping 181.1.1. It's getting successful ping from router one. So ping 181.1.100. It's getting successful ping from the ACS. Okay. So our lab has successfully been set up. Now what we are going to do is on the next video we are going to actually set up a triple A configuration within TACAX protocol, right?